So, uh, are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. What the fuck were you thinking? There's a reason Max Tack exists, you know. Civilians were in danger. What was I supposed to do? Just watch them get mowed down? Listen, you, me, and every fucking cop in this city might as well be a civilian next to Max Tack. Go right ahead. Be the hero. Save the fucking day. But until then, you keep your head down and listen to me. That understood? You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings, by lunch that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. Mm. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. 
The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Listen. No, tough guy, you listen. It's people like you two that have brought this country to its knees. Taken our land, our jobs, our fucking dignity. But I own this place and here I decide. So finish your tea and get the fuck out. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Helmet. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. 
He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal Rad's squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us.